Hello, people! Yep, it's another Let's Play Quickly! I hope you guys enjoy it, because it's a great game! Oh, yes! Anyway, as you already know, I'm Astrath, and if you didn't... I'm Astrath! Happy to meet you, and welcome to this! Ooh, made by Sega! So it must be a Sega game! Oh, yes it is! Arena Entertainment presents... A probe development. Trademark. The word code has many different definitions. The Shaolin Martial Arts Tournament is governed by a system of rules of conduct. An ethical code. The combatants respect each other as warriors, no matter what degree of hatred they have for one another. A code of honor. Another type of code could be defined as an obituary system of symbols or letters for transmitting messages, a secret code. This game adheres to many codes, but does it contain one? Very mythical, that is. But anyway, you know what it is by now. I don't have to tell you, and if I do have to tell you, then I will anyway. Welcome to Midway Presents Mortal Kombat! Made in 1992, at 1993. No, we're not seeing a demo. Anyway, welcome to Mortal Kombat! Made by Acclaim and Midway for the Sega Genesis, originally the arcade box, in fact. Um, but brought along to this and a lot of other uh, functions in the future. Now, this is the game which Mortal Kombat began with. Uh, and it was in arcade cabinets and then it made its way on a console form. Um, and it's known as, especially in 1992, this game was the most violent game in history at the time because it was 1992. Now it's not. This game's not violent at all. It's not scary at all. But in 1992, before I was born, this game came out. And still, this game at the time had parents pretty much just going berserk at the violence in this game. And you'll you'll see that later. Anyway, so let's go to the option screen and uh, have a little bit of a toy around with that. Now, I'm going to put up to uh, six credits and very easy because I tried easy early and Kano kicked my ass. Yes, he did. Anyway, so let's play. Game starts. Now we can play, as you can see, uh, seven characters. Yes, guys, I'm going to play a scorpion. Now, uh, you can choose from seven different characters. I will explain them. This is the table, I guess. And you have to take on all these characters. You've got to take on all the characters you didn't choose, pretty much. So let's kick off with Liu Kang. Liu Kang is uh, the Li is the uh, the Earth Realm champion, I believe, of combat, and we've got to try and beat him. For what reason? I believe this is just a simple tournament. So let's take on Liu Kang. Right now, as for combat, you can move your character around. You can see with ordinary buttons. That's one of Scorpion's main uh, combos, is the Spear, which has turned out to be his trademark move because of that, where he goes, GET OVER HERE! That by pressing uh, double back and then the A button, or whatever you've got as the A button. I'm playing this on a keyboard, remember, so my A button will be a bit different. My A button's actually the S button, uh, with my B button being the W button, and my C button being the, well, C button. I haven't changed it for this game. Anyway. I'm now going to I'm now going to show you the the other um, move he's got the teleport punch, which you can do by pressing down and back and then uh, the A button. And you can do teleport punch to get yourself from one side of the screen to the other, which is very good. Damn it! Ugh. I'm trying to sort out Scorpion's fatality. Now, when finish him comes up, you can have you can do different moves. You can do any sort of move, and they can't block you. Oh god, Sonya. Anyway, um, and one of them is called a fatality. Each competitor has its own different fatality. And I was trying to do scorpions, which is block and then up twice. Uh, which I'm going to try and do in this battle against Sonya, who's like some sort of like commando woman. Anyway, Sonya, by the way, is my most feared opponent in this, in this game. And especially in uh, later games like Mortal Kombat 3, which I also have for the Genesis. And oh boy, is that game a pain. Sonya's got a great combo that she likes to use. She likes to throw you, followed by basically wrapping her legs around your th uh, waist and throwing you again. Uh, this is a very nasty move, and, and Sonya, you, you might want to like attack or something, because I'm just taking down your health even though you're blocking. 
You're doing nothing for yourself, Sonya, by doing this. Ah. Nope. Oh. Aha! That was it there. That was her little handstand move she tried to do. Oh, God. Nope. Not letting you get me, Sonya. No way. Damn it. Damn it. Come on. Come on. I will not lose to Sonya. I will not lose to Sonya. Anyway, as you can see from the first match, it was be it's best two out of three. So, um, yeah. Anyway, there's not really much you can say about the game anymore, apart from we get the test of, uh, test your might, which is a little mini game you can do, and you can do it three times. And we'll get to the endurance matches later. I'll just c explain the characters as we roll along, because we'll, we will be fighting all of them. You can play at, well, there are nine different characters in the game. Seven are playable, two are not. Come on, you've got to stop defending sometime. There you go, punch, 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 punch. There you go, fatality! Boom! And this is why this game was, you know, like, everyone was, like, marking out of this game, going, OH MY GOD! Because that is Scorpion's fatality, he'll basically just rip off his mask, his skull will then turn up, and then burn you! Uh, and burn your flesh, burn your clothes, until you're nothing but a skeleton. Anyway, now Scorpion's going up against Sub-Zero, his rival, in fact, and rival with a lot of fans as well. Um, you're either one or the other, really. You can't really like Sub-Zero and Scorpion. You can like them both, I do. But there is always going to be one that you like more. Basically, they're palette swap ninjas. But in later games, they do differ from each other in looks and abilities. Each competitor has its own different ability. So, for example, Sub-Zero doesn't have the same moves that I have. But yeah, they do look the same apart from one little thing, which is uh, their colour. That's about it. Anyway, so sorry to all uh, Scorpion fat to all Sub Zero fans, but I just beat Scorpion and got a flawless victory. Yes, a flawless victory is basically when it's basically like a Street Fighter's perfect. It's when you don't lose any health in the match. Uppercut and more punches to the face. So yeah, basically with this game, that's pretty much it. Gotcha. And fatality. Now, in the story, in fact, Sub-Zero actually kills Scorpion, and Scorpion's come back to life um, as this sort of wandering soul ninja thing, which is why he can do that. Ah, now, here's your test your might. You've got to press the A and C button, and then press the start button to fire. And basically, all this does is it gives you extra points for it, so yeah. Yeah, this game is basically all about points and trying to get onto that leaderboard. Anyway, next up is Raiden, the Thunder God. He's actually, This is actually the god in the game. Uh, but I think he's got him, he's turned himself into a mortal so he can try and defend the mortal realm uh, in this tournament from the evil Shang Tsung at the time. Yes, guys, Shang Tsung is the boss. The final boss is Shang Tsung. People who know more combat, Shang Tsung very, very, uh, very well, you know. Um, Shang Tsung does turn into an ordinary opponent uh, by, like, Mortal Kombat 3, I believe. Maybe even 2. Anyway, so Raiden. Ah, now this does happen. I, I guess this is slightly an Easter egg, I guess. But what that was was another part swap ninja called Reptile. He becomes a playable character, I believe, in two, in Mortal Kombat 2, the sequel to this game. And yeah, uh, he's then followed by uh, uh, Ermac, who is another part swap ninja, and Rain, who is purple. Purple Rain, you know. Anyway. So, Scorpion just beats Raiden there, that was quite easy. I believe, actually, is this the one where you can uppercut him and it does an arena fatality? Some arenas have something called an arena fatality, which is, uh, if you do a certain move, the arena will do a fatality and finish him. I'm gonna try and do that if this is the right one. I don't know if it is. It might be, I'm not sure. Not 100%. Damn it, I can't move. Damn it, no! I will not lose to Raiden. I'm gonna lose to Raiden, aren't I? I'm gonna lose to Raiden. No, I don't. Boom. Nope, didn't work. Now, ah, well. but basically, uh, it, there's one way. If you uppercut them, they will fall off the little ledge you're on, and they will land on like a spike. They'll be impaled on a spike. It's quite cool. So anyway, next up is Kano, the guy that kicked my ass on easy mode, a cyborg sort of thing. Part of the... Oh, I've got to try and remember which clan it is. There are two different types of clans. There's the Red Dragon Clan and the Black Dragon Clan. I believe he's part of the Black Dragon Clan. Uh, anyway, that is... Yes, that is Shang Tsung in the background. He looks a lot different in later games. Um, but yeah. Yeah, but that's the, sort of the boss. 
And Scorpion wins with the mega punches to the face. I've done two Let's Plays where I've kicked everything. Digimon Rumble Arena and Super Smash Bros. Um, I thought I'd do a game where I'd punch things. Might do Rise of the Robots just to get some more kicking involved. But for the moment, let's punch everything. Because it's funny. Come on, you've got to stop defending one day. You've got to stop defending, Kano. Oh, God, he didn't. He kicked me in the face. Twice. Oh, God. I pushed the wrong button. I was supposed to push that button, but it didn't work. I'll do that. Just give me some space, but it gives him some space to do some attack. Oh, nice punch. So, yeah, you can actually hit with a teleport punch, and it'll do that. Come on. Come on. You're nearly dead. Come on. Yes! Nice shot. And I just got you with a snake for no reason. Yay! I really thought I was going to lose that match, but I haven't actually lost a match yet. Oh, great. Johnny Cage. Okay. So here is the last character you can play as, and it's Johnny Cage. Um, he's a movie star, and he's a complete prick. Why? Because he likes to jump a lot, and because, he, look, he looks like a bit of a prick anyway. A lot of people don't like Johnny Cage. You know, these are the same people that like Scorpion, Sub-Zero, even like, you know, like, even some like the bosses. But they don't like Johnny Cage, and I'm not surprised. Anyway, so Johnny, Johnny Cage in later, state, later games has sunglasses on, and he's even got his own name tattooed on his chest. Right? How much of an egotistical moron will you be? Also, kick in the face. Ow! Would, how much of an egotistical moron would you be to have your own name tattooed on your chest? Your own name! Seriously, your own name. Oh god, he might actually beat me as well. Oh god, he, Johnny Cage might beat me. Oh god, Johnny Cage is gonna beat me. No, not Johnny Cage! Anybody but Johnny Cage! No! Go on, yeah, go on, keep defending, keep defending, keep defending. Because I'm whittling your health down very slowly. Come on. Yes! And just for that. Ah, oh, okay, I was going to give you a fatality, but no, I'll let you live. For now. <laughs> anyway. It's now time for more test your might. Gotcha! Right, extra two, extra 200,000 points. Right, next up is a mirror match where you go up against yourself, pretty much. So, we're going up against a slightly different looking scorpion. And when I say different looking, I mean his color's a bit different. <laughs> so anyway, but reptiles are sort of an Easter egg I was talking about earlier. He is joined by two power swap engines, as I said, another two. Overall, there are, there are actually seven. Um... Oh god, he's got that as well. Oh great. Yep, Scorpion can this Scorpion can use all of your moves. Oh god, he might he's gonna beat me! Myself is gonna beat me! No! No! I got beaten by myself! Right, I'm against the eight ball now, I've gotta win this. A flawless victory would do well, thank you. Uppercut it. Punch, 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 punch. Oh, damn it. Well, not this round, it looks like. Boom! Punch in the gob. Okay, so yeah, this is Mortal Kombat. Um, as you can see, the sort of fatalities, and in later games, the uh, blood happens. In this game, it's not really that bad because there's no blood. But it's the fatalities that sort of got everyone marking out. And stop kicking me. Boom! There you go, take that. Oh, God. I knew that was hap- I knew that was coming. Oh god. Yeah! And I'm just gonna defend like a moron. So yeah, so... I'm in fact gonna leave it here, in fact. Uh, I know we're about to get the 15 minutes, but I know. Anyway, in the next episode of Let's Play Mortal Kombat, we will do the endurance matches. And what comes after that. See you then!